Dr. Vidya Patil, serving as Assistant Professor of English at Government First Grade Women's College, Bihar. I will be guiding and assisting you during this course. In today's video, we will be dealing with the topic prefixes and suffixes. Students, what is vocabulary? Vocabulary is the vast knowledge of words in any given language. So, if you want to be good at any particular language, if you want to have a fluency in a language, then it is very necessary that you develop an extensive vocabulary in that language. One of the essential parts in the vocabulary is you need to learn how word formation takes place. From one root word, many different types of words can be formed. And one of the easiest way to form these words is by either adding a prefix or a suffix to the root word. Now, what are these prefixes and suffixes and how they can be added in order to form new words is what we will understand in today's video. So, students, let us now begin with today's video. Today's topic is prefixes and suffixes. The group of letters which we attach before the root word are called as prefixes and the group of letters which are placed after the root word are known as suffixes. Let us try to know more about these in today's video. Now first understand what are prefixes. A prefix is a group of letters which is placed before the root word. It is this letter or group of letters which helps uh, or which is usually added at the beginning of a word in order to form a new word. Prefixes change the meaning of the words. And some of the most common prefixes which we use are un, un and re, re. So, these are the most common prefixes which are used in English language. Now see on your screen some of the commonly used prefixes with their meanings and examples. Now I'll just read out a few of the common ones which are used on, on a day-to-day -day basis. DE that is the D prefix DE which means down, reverse, opposite, and the examples are decode, decrease. DIS is another prefix which again may, means not or forms the opposite. For example, disagree, disappear. EX is one more prefix which means out of or away from or which means former. So, exhale, explosion. IL, which means again not, or which is used in a uh, to form the opposite, is and the examples are illegal, illogical. IM, which again means without, so it form helps to form the opposite words, for example, impossible, improper. IN, again, it is same as IM. And it helps to form the opposite words. For example, inaction, invisible. M-I-S usually means bad or wrong. The examples here are mislead, misplace. And the one more prefix is N-O-N, which again means not. And the examples for this are non-fiction, nonsense. P-R-E, pre. This is one more prefix which means before and the examples are prefix, prehistory. P-R-O, pro is another prefix which means forward or before. So, pro proactive, profess, program. These are all the words which can be formed by using the prefix pro. Re, as I have already explained to you before, which means again. So, react, regain, reappear, 
repay un which again is used to form the opposite form of the root word so undo unequal unusual unhappy these are some of the commonly used prefixes which we can find now there are certain basic rules which you need to remember whenever you are using prefixes please note that different prefixes in the english language can have the same meaning this now we have seen a list of the commonly used prefixes you would have noticed that many of the prefixes have the same meaning for example un and in both these prefixes mean not or none also they help to form the opposite forms of the root words the another set of prefixes that is mis miss and ir both mean wrong or incorrect so in this way there may be many prefixes which have the same meaning and uh, serve the same purpose but each root word has to be attached with a particular prefix also notice that at many times when we are using prefixes there may be double letters which happen to come across in the spellings of the new word which is formed for example you can see on your screens when we add un to natural it becomes unnatural where n is repeated two times when we add ir to rational it becomes irrational where the letter r is repeated twice when we add mis to spell it becomes misspell and the letter s is repeated twice also we find that wherever we add un to the word which begins with the letter n then it becomes unnoticeable so when we add un to notice or noticeable it becomes unnoticeable so this is true for many other prefixes also another thing which we should notice whenever we are using prefixes is that when we add a prefix to a word the spelling of the root word does not change for example when we add un to happy it remains and the new word which is formed is unhappy and but the spelling of the root word happy continues to remain the same so no matter which prefix you attach to the root word the root spelling of the root word never changes this is one basic rule which you need to remember so another example which we have taken up was uh, relive in the word relive when we add re to the root word live the spelling of the root word does not change also we should be careful about localize localize are those words where we have not used a prefix but initially when we look at it it appears as though a prefix has been added to it for example when we see the word uncle we feel that maybe because it begins with un the prefix un has been added here but actually it hasn't it's not a prefix so be careful of such words which look like a prefix has been used but actually they are words which are formed without the use of prefix another such example may be reach or real where the words begin with re but it is not the prefix re which has been used in this word so students in today's video we have discussed about prefixes we have seen which are the common prefixes which are used in english language and we have also discussed about some of the important rules which we need to keep in mind when we are using prefixes use of prefixes helps us to form new words in the next video we will try to understand what are suffixes and how they need to be added to the root word in order to form new words i hope you like this video